your side. This is News 3 This Morning. Well, great Thursday morning to you. Glad to be a part of your Thursday. I'm Bria Beery. I'm Greg Lloyd. It's good to see you, Bria, and all of you out there as well. Nicole will keep you updated because this morning we are weather aware and keeping a close eye on the storm system as it heads our way. Now, our priority is keeping you safe and informed, so let's check back in with Nicole to take a closer look at that forecast. Well, welcome back, everyone. And Nicole, we are keeping a close eye on the radar this morning. We are. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it because we... We continue this morning with an update. A Fort Benning sergeant who police say led them on a chase answered to charges in recorder's court. 25-year-old Quadarius Strong pleaded not guilty to several charges. Strong also faces a murder charge from February of 2019 in connection to the death of 24-year-old Ronnie Brooks Jr. Brooks was shot on Buena Vista Road. News 3 spoke with his lawyer who says the case comes down to the evidence presented. A year later and still no answers. Columbus police are continuing searching for the driver who killed a Lumpkin man. 54-year-old Lee Antonius Moses was killed back on January the 12th of 2019. Moses was a victim of a hit and run accident near Victory and Tickner Drive. Police believe this video is their best chance of finding a man who was there that Saturday night. Because of the video quality, police have not been able to recover the license plate. Now to tragic news out of Alabama. A police officer has died after being shot in the line of duty. It happened in northern Alabama. Police tried to stop a vehicle on Interstate 65, but that driver wouldn't come over. A police car from the town of Kimberly joined the pursuit. That's when Officer Nick O'Rear was shot. He leaves behind two children. 